help. So you've created a model with surface modeling in CAD and then you want to create a solid object out of those sheets, but somehow it's not joining to a solid object. This video shows you why, how to fix it very quickly and let's dive in. And the following lesson is just one module out of my new free surface modeling introduction course for beginners. And this course covers all the basics and fundamentals ensuring you excel in surface modeling. Starting with explaining NURBS and CAD, you will dive into the key principles of continuity and tangency. Through hands-on exercises, you will master surface modeling techniques by modeling objects like a shampoo bottle and cylinder connections. Additionally, you will get a mindset training to tackle complex projects and solve common problems like smoothing surfaces and working with lofts. And as a grand final, there's a special section on how to model a product design from scratch with all the learnings. So enroll in this free course today and start your journey in surface modeling with plasticity. So check out the first link in the description box next to the video and now let's dive in into this tutorial. So the next problem is that you have created something. So in this example it's again just a power drill from my course. Why I'm using an example out of my course? Because hundreds of people um, went through it and <laughs> a lot of them always ask the same questions in my community. So that's why I just know that this is just an issue that really often occurs, not just in this power drills and in everything else. But so again, right, so this is the power drill and we already created the surface and all that kind of stuff. And then comes a point where, so you see, we've created the whole half. So literally just the half of this whole power drill, the base form without the details, right? But then comes the uh, time when we want to marry them kind of and select this um, surface and alt x and bring to the other side and we want to create a solid so because uh, then in later stages you generally want a solid because for example um, let's just assume so we just so it's not from a reference but just assume we want here to create a nice cut right but the problem is, so if you now join those surfaces, it looks like you have a solid, right? Because it is everything is closed, right? So we transformed the surface into solid. But is it truly a, a solid? Let's have a look. No, it's not. Because this is this uh, circle uh, shape. Because a solid... Uh, icon looks like that, like a box, but this is the circle. So this means this is still a surface. So if we would cut now here, we could not select those edges and give them a fillet. You see, it's, um, it's, it's just doesn't know what to do, right? So we have to fix that and find out where is the hole. So somewhere in this piece must be a hole, but you can search for as long as you want, but oftentimes you will not see it. Okay, so here at the top you see, but okay, here at the bottom as well, but that's because I do it, uh, did it intentionally, but sometimes you don't see those holes. And then there's an amazing command. So select the object mode, select this object and search for, uh, press F and uh, find boundary edges. Bam! And now you see your boundary edges, your holes are um, highlighted. So you can zoom in and oftentimes what just works if you select edge mode and alt click. So you select this loop and just patch it with shift 3. G0 is fine. So you close this hole here at the top or you rebuild everything but most of the time just a simple patch works. And the same here again press 2, alt click Shift 3 to patch it, G0 is fine, and bam, once you press right click, now you have a cube, so now it's a solid object, and now again we can come to this piece here and select this curve, press C, cut into our main body, and delete this curve, and now we can select both of those edges and give them a nice sexy chamfer or fill it and add this way some details. So we need a solid at the very end to add this kind of stuff. So again, to summarize, if you are working on a project, 
and you are ready to convert the surface into a solid, select it, Alt X, bring to the other side, press J to join, but then you see it's not a um, solid. So just select again the whole object, press F, find boundary edges and you see them and you can just close them. Perfect. So let's check out why patches doesn't work. And if you found that lesson helpful and you want to learn more about surface modeling, check out my free course with over 40 modules explaining everything about surface modeling that you need as a beginner. So sign up today with the first link in the description box next to the video. And I hope I can see you in there. Have a nice day. Bye.